Hello friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Co-op's Decaffeinated Fair Trade Original Roast and Ground Coffee and if we take a look on the front of the pack it's got the um, Fair Trade symbol there it's a number 3 medium roast uh, this coffee was 2 99 for 227 grams and that is it for the front of the pack. On the back we have Origin packed in the UK using coffee from non-EU countries. Advices, storage instructions, contact information, um, preparation guidelines, fair trade coffee, fair trade certified and sourced from fair trade producers, total 100%. Fair trade means fairer trading conditions and opportunities for producers in developing countries to invest in their businesses and communities for a sustainable future. Um, resealable um, tab there. And on the side of the pack, only fair trade coffee beans go into the co op blends. Fair trade means that the producer Cooperatives receive a fairer price for their crops plus an additional fair trade premium to invest in projects to benefit them and their communities. And there's the strength guide. And the best before date is October 2018, so well under a year on the best before date on this one. Not much else on the other side of the pack. Um, all machines except pod and espresso. So that that is it for the pack. Um, it's a decaf decaf coffee. This one. Um, I did praise the um, irresistible range of coffees that the co-op do, um, for the description on the packs. Um, but the, I would say the rest of their coffees are really poorly um, described on the packets. Absolutely no information at all on these. Um, with regard to what coffee is in there or um, the amount of caffeine um, in the coffee. So if we take a look at the ground coffee, it's really dark, um, pretty inconsistent grind, it's pretty fine um, to be honest with you. Um, the aroma is it's a dark, smoky, um, nutty um, I'm picking up that sort of smoky bacon um, if anyone knows the um, bacon wheat crunchies um, I was picking up that exact smell from this coffee um, my, my first impression was it smells like a Brazilian coffee but there is a slight fruitiness in there that points to other influences maybe an African coffee um, it's quite rich too in aroma um, it's I would say quite complex um, so hopefully that transfers um, to the taste unfortunately it doesn't um, taste wise the first thing is a strange bitterness that surrounds your mouth it's nothing major um, at first and quite subtle um, you can taste the slight Brazilian influence in there, but when made with a single espresso, there wasn't much else. Um, and the bitterness lingers into the aftertaste too um, with this one. So I tried the double espresso. It was quite late, but what the hell, it's a decaf. Um, but it was also quite disappointing. The fruitiness comes out a little bit more. But it's cardboardy and the bitterness is really overwhelming. And as I mentioned, it carries all the way through to the aftertaste. That almost feels like I've eaten a sort of teaspoon of ground white pepper. Um, it's that bad. So I think I will have to put up with the blandness and stick to single espressos in my coffee with this one. Or maybe not. Next I tried the French press and the results were a little better giving it more of an Italian blend coffee feel and the bitterness was not as prominent um, in, the French, in the French press. Also trying cappuccinos and lattes um, had strange results with a watery 
weak bodied feel um, to the drink which was a bit odd really um, so not the best coffee and not worth three pounds I think the Aldi decaf I reviewed um, not long ago tasted a little bit cheaper but it was less than half the price of this one so for me it's a two out of five um, for this coffee as the good aroma led to disappointment in the taste and the bitterness was a really big downside um, for me. So I'd like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee or any of the other um, co-op um, co coffees. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future, subscribe to my channel. That was my quick review. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.